Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. I am starting a new series of videos, one on the makeup side. It's gonna be called Makeup Tips Tuesday. And guess what day it is? It is Tuesday. And for my first set of makeup tips, it's kind of like I was reading this article and the article was kind of like a blog written by someone who works at Alta or Sephora, one of those makeup stores. And they were giving rules for shopping at Alta or Sephora. And I said a lot of these are my pet peeves. So it's kind of like this video is going to be about how to conduct yourself while you're makeup shopping. It could be at Alta, it could be at Sephora, it could be at Macy's, it could be in Walgreens. Wherever you are shopping for makeup, this is how to conduct yourself. Many of these are my pet peeves. Some of them is just a little bit of advice as well. The first thing, which is definitely a pet peeve, don't use the makeup straight from the test applicator. You know how they have all the lipstick testers out, all the eyeshadow testers out. Do not, especially the lipsticks, do not take a tester like this, pull it up and rub it all over your lips. That's a no ma'am. You don't know who else might have rubbed this all over their lips and what they have on their lips. I don't even trust it like, if it's a lipstick tester, I don't even trust it to alcohol it down and wipe it off and all that. All I'm gonna do with some lipstick is rub it on my hand and hold it up like, yeah, that, that's cute. I, you just can't trust people these days. Not everyone is sanitary. Not everyone follows the rules. Just in general, don't put any makeup that's a tester on your actual skin, lips, anything, eyes, nothing. Don't trust it. Number two, if you're out, let's say at Ulta, and you're looking at a new Juvia's Place palette and you just want to rub your fingers in it and test it out, don't destroy the testers. I hate when there's a new eyeshadow release and I'm all excited. I can't wait to go to Ulta and play in the colors, you know, wipe samples on my skin to see just how they would look against my skin tone. And when I get there, someone has taken their thumb and pressed it all and, and all the shadow is smushed out and I'm like damn I, I wanted to kind of try that color or it's a brand new palette but that one dish is missing all scooped out it's missing don't destroy the samples don't be selfish don't be childish let everyone enjoy a sample or a tester okay that's number two number three do not go into the store with a fresh face and go around and do a full beat. Don't go in there getting primers, foundations, concealers. You done beat your eyes. I don't even think you can use an eyebrow <laughs> kit, but some, I've seen people go into Sephora, fresh face, and come out full glam just off of testers. One, I don't trust testers that much to go full glam. And two, you just look tacky. <laughs> it looks, that's not what it's there for. It's not there for you to come to Sephora and beat your face. Just, just don't do that. Don't do that. Number four, this was an article suggestion. It's not an Angie suggestion. But they said, don't open a brand new product and create your own sample. I have been guilty of that. I have done that. I have, especially like in Ulta where they have the Clinique makeup wipes. If I'm testing, you know, putting some tests on my hand and I'm ready to wipe it off, I don't like to use that water or alcohol. Clinique has a samples of the makeup wipes back in their section. And I like to pull the makeup wipe and just, it's easy. Wipe it off, one, two, three, done. And one time I went back there, I'm telling on myself, but one time I went back there and the packet was empty. So I just opened up a new packet and just set it there as a new tester. That is against the rules. Angie, I know I have done it. 
Don't do that. Like, I don't do it often. I did it that one time, but just don't do that. They say that's a no-no. I guess because they know what they have in inventory to sell and what they have in inventory to be a sample. So just don't create your own samples. Number six, they do this. I've seen people do this a lot at Sephora where they actually do glam faces in Sephora and they leave their personal makeup brushes on the counter for their next client. Don't walk up and use a MUA's makeup brush without asking their permission. Or pretty much if they don't give it to you and put use their brush to put it on your face, you don't know if that's sanitary. You don't know if they cleaned that brush after the last person. You don't know if they even intended for those brushes to be used. One, that's just nasty. Two, that's just rude. Don't be that person. Those are their personal makeup brushes for their personal clients or for customers who pay. I'm sure they sanitize them. Don't walk up there using their brushes without permission. Number seven, if I'm sitting in Ulta asking someone to help me match my foundation and you just need a lipstick and it's behind the counter and you can't get it don't interrupt just so someone can go get you something you wait your turn and i have seen people where they're over in the mac section and they're getting their colors matched for their new foundation but someone over here needs a lipstick and they need they have a question and they come interrupt and say can you come get me this lipstick no ma'am no, ma'am, I'm working with this employee right now. You wait your turn. I don't care if the lipstick is only one, two, three steps away. You wait. That is very rude. Don't do that to people because I'm sure you would not want anyone to do that to you. Number eight. This is a little bit of advice. Don't be afraid to ask for samples, especially in Sephora. You can get pretty much anything in a sample size. And a sample size, this is a nice sample. Oop. Sample size of that Dior. This is not Dior. I don't know. But this is a nice foundation. This is something you could probably wear for a good week, maybe more, because you don't need that much. This might be the Dior foundation. But they give you all of this filled up. You can get an array of colors if you want to take it home and find out what is your right shade. And it's free. Now, I'm not saying go in there and only get samples and never, ever buy a foundation or a concealer. Like, anything they can put in this type of bottles, perfumes. If it's some perfumes you want to try out and you just don't know which one you want to spend $60 to $80 on, you can go in there and ask for three or four samples and they'll put them in a nice little bottle like this. You can get a couple of days wears. Don't be afraid to ask for a sample of any product. Now they can't give you any lipstick. They can't give you any blush. They can't give you any eyeshadow, but definitely your complexion products. Don't be afraid to ask for a sample. And don't be like someone that will remain nameless that I know is watching this knows I'm talking about them. Don't go to the store and only get samples and just get like 20 samples and only ever use all the samples and never buy the products. Which leads to number nine. If you do say buy a full thing of concealer and you take it home and you try it out and you're like, no, I'm really not feeling this shade. Don't be afraid to return it, especially if it's an expensive purchase, like a foundation or a concealer. All makeup stores accept returns, even opened, because they expect you to open it and try it. All you have to do is say you didn't like it and you want your money back, or you didn't like it and you want to try another shade. Either way, they're going to accept your return. But also, don't be like this same person who will order two or three hundred dollars worth of makeup, create their own samples, and then return everything. <laughs> I'm not gonna say their name, but don't abuse the policy either. Don't abuse the samples and don't abuse the returns. You do not wanna get on the black flag list to where you can't return or sample anything else ever. Number 10, 
don't be afraid to use Ulta or Sephora brand products. Like, Ulta and Sephora have really good brands. Like, they're just not stores. Like, this is one of my favorite primers by Ulta, the anti-caking. I use it every day under my eyes. Because, you know, under your eyes is the driest part of your face. And I love to powder my face. It, I'm telling you, it helps. It helps and no other primer is like it. Sephora, their skincare brand, I use it every day. Don't be afraid to use the store brand products. Don't feel like you just have to go out and get like a NARS or a, a Benefits or a Smashbox. Like Sephora and Alta have very good brands and try it out. You can try their samples in the store as well. Number 11, this is a pet peeve at the checkout. If you're at the checkout and you know how you get the coupons on your phone, retail me not or whatever, and your coupon doesn't work, don't hold up the line going off on the employee because your coupon doesn't work. It is not their fault. And you're holding up the line. The line in Ulta is always long. Ma'am, not today. Either put all your products back or pay your money. That little $5 or $3 is not worth cussing the employee out. Okay? And then last... And definitely not least, if you're in the store and you see a foundation that you love, say it's Pat McGrath because she is expensive, and it's $68, but you love it, but you don't go in there going off on an employee be like, $68? Who's going to pay $68? If you're not going to pay for it, just shut up and put it back. And try a drugstore brand. Try NYX. Try Juvia's Place. They have amazing foundation for $20. Or get over there on Afterpay and break your payments up into fours. Now, these are just a few of my makeup tips for when you're out there in Sephora and you're out there in Ulta or Macy's. Don't get out there looking crazy, y'all. Follow these tips and you will be good. And come back every Tuesday for Makeup Tips Tuesday, and I will have some more tips for you. I'm gonna come up with some creative things to give to you all to get the makeup going back on my channel. So go ahead and subscribe. If you're interested in makeup tips, especially tips for over 40, subscribe to the channel. There will definitely be some up every Tuesday, and I'm gonna try to do the tutorials on the weekends. So get in the comments. Let me know if there's an issue you have a question about that I can give you a tip about on another Tuesday, and I will try to address it in the comments. I mean, in a future Tuesday video. So get in those comments, like the video, and share. You all have a good night, and I will see you later. Bye.